Hi, hello everyone. My name is Azim Timoklein Shimano. I'm a student at Kepler and I'm going to have this video in which I'll be presenting a mock, a mock job interview uh, where I'll be asking and answering uh, eight questions that are likely uh, asked during job interview. The first question is tell me about yourself. Uh, my name is Azim Timothy Mishimimana. I studied history, economics, and literature in high school. I have BA uh, in communication and business communication. Uh, and uh, and uh, I have a certificate in ICT on web designing, in which, uh, in which I, uh, I took in six months, six months, a six month short course. And, uh, I'm very passionate about our management and, and, and the technology and also I like challenges because they help me learning more and more. So the second question is uh, tell me about your past experience. Uh, my past work experience uh, I saw about two jobs. Uh, in 2015 uh, I was a, school, a high school teacher where I taught uh, entrepreneurship in senior six and senior five, and uh, it was uh, in southern province. Mm, yes, uh, in 2015 16, I was a customer. I was a custom a customer care manager at a grand person uh, is a shop a shop store where uh, I work here, of course as customer care. Uh, you know, I receive. I received many, uh, many complaints from the client and I processed them to the boss and helped them finding some solutions. And currently, uh, I'm working also as a customer manager uh, at, uh, at, uh, at, uh, at entertainment uh, business processes. So where we help you know, people to have different uh, shows you know, a launching albums, something like that. Yeah, like we're working with the artists. So another thing is that uh, another question is uh, describe a time where where you work it well on on a team. Yes. Oh, uh, this was in 2016 where I worked at the, that uh, that uh, phone uh, phone store where I was uh, where I was like uh, where I was uh, customer care manager then our boss gave me like a task to her uh to have a research to do a research about the new preference uh, of of customers about the phone the new preference then the task was you know to you know to send a survey to more than 300 person and interview 50 per uh, person so it was it was a little bit tough and the time was limited to two weeks uh, then what I did, uh, I you know I, I you know I, I I had a team of six person. Then I sent them the task. I blocked the task into small pieces or small units, and I gave each and everyone each uh, his own task to do. Then I used the trailer as the project management to coordinate them and help them you know uh, doing each and everything. Uh, and you know when it comes out, it was like. We tried our level base to do it, the, the, the you know the assigned task, and uh, you know we we tried in within two weeks to you know to come up with the the findings and the result that helps our company to rise, you know uh, to to rise the the the, the five percent of sales. So it was you know it, I, I I I thought it was you know I did well because I managed you know to push those to push that team to come up with that research, so it was great. So another question is that, uh, uh, tell me about a time when you heard uh, too many things to do and had to prioritize your, your tasks. I remember it was in high school where I had uh, communication skills assessment. I had also to prepare and draft a pitch, in, a pitch presentation. Also, I have to retain a meeting with a director, a academic director. And another thing, I had also uh, to write and send email to my boss asking a annual leave. So, what I did is that I, uh, you know, I prioritized 
the task and start you know and start with I started with the the urgent the very urgent and pointed one who that was you know drafting the the, the, the pitch presentation because it has to be uh, done within uh, like in, in in two hours so it was you know it was very necessary I started with it then I, I attended the, the meeting with the academic director and after five minutes, because the meeting was you know, was to be done within two uh, five uh, minutes, then after all, uh, what I did is like uh, what I did, you know, uh, I wrote the email and sent to my boss asking for leave, the annual leave. Then, because the the communication <coughs> assessment was to be done after uh, you know uh, the, the following the following day, I spent the whole night preparing everything. So. Or uh, you know, uh, you know, thanks to prioritization and scheduling and uh, using other uh, term management tools, I managed to do everything you know before due time. So it was you know a success. So another question is that uh, tell me about the time when you had to go above and beyond the call of duty, and uh, how did you handle the situation? Uh, well, I remember. Uh, I remember where I was in high school and I heard, uh, you know, I had a weak suspicion. Suspicion of where it was a punishment, you know, given by the disciplinary leaders or authorities. Then I was at home uh, during the week, but in the midweek, you know, I had a call from my colleagues from the school telling me that I have to assist them, uh, you know, in the debate competition. They were, they were, uh, there was a debate competition, and because you know, you know, they believed, they believed in me and my public speaking skills, so they called me to assist them. Uh, but basically, uh, it was not a road because I was not a road to attain. But uh, what I did, you know, I didn't think about you know the punishment and the word, you know. So what I did, I decided to you know to, to help them. Uh, so the task was to attain. To attend a debate competition, then you know something funny. I wore the, the school uniform. It was you know bizarre, but you know uh, then during the, the competition, I helped them. Uh, you know I was among the speakers, so we presented. Uh, and uh, after after you know what happened, uh, we won we won the competition, and something which was funny. Uh, you know, after after the winning, after winning, winning the competition, our headmaster removed the, the you know the suspension as uh, an hour uh, to my commitment. So it was somehow finding amazing. Uh, another question uh, is is uh, tell me about the time when you worked uh, effectively under pressure. Uh, if I remember well. Uh, uh, when I was uh, when I was working at uh, at a Grand Merchant uh, phone store as a customer, a customer manager, customer care manager, yeah, we heard of course the research that I mentioned previously. Then uh, during the research, we had only two weeks, so two weeks to to send something to more than three hundred people. You know, interview fifty person. Drafting report, analyzing data, doing every, everything. It was challenging, and the boss was placing was be, you know behind my back, you know placing. Hey, what is going on? How is this is done? How, you know it was placing. So uh, basically, what uh, what I do, I try you know to maintain my you know my charisma. Uh, you know I, I say you know I don't have to be under pressure. I do accordingly to accordingly to according to, 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 to the plan and the schedule and the work. So uh, I managed to do that uh, even if you know the boss was placing me. Uh, you know I I told my, my my team member, you know guys don't be don't be stressed. Try to maintain your, your strength. You know, so we try our best to come up with a good deliverables and findings that I say help my company to raise uh, five percent of, of sales. So you know that time it was a little bit challenging, but you know we tried to make it happen and to success. Uh, the 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 last but least, uh, give me uh, the an example of time when you showed initiative. Uh, 
Yes, I remember I was in I, I was at, at at college, and we have the we have what we call advisories, and then during the advisory, uh, uh, we had a meeting, and then the advisor our advisor was not around. So what I did, uh, I take the initiative and chair chair uh, chair the meeting, and I help my you know my members, my group members, to discuss some important points that was you know uh, needed. So the task was you know. Uh, to, to, to facilitate them, uh, facilitate uh, them, you know, discussing. So it was success, and we managed to take, you know, some resolutions that helped our uh, group advisory working well. So lastly, uh, the, the last question is that: Is there anything else you would like to know about you? Uh, definitely, there is. You know, uh, my role model is Steve, Steve Jobs. And you know there is a quote that really, uh, really ruling me and ruling my heart. It says, uh, it says, stay hungry and stay foolish. So this quote helps me always to, to aim hard. You know, uh, dreaming big. You know, always set the high expectation that you know there is no room of satisfaction. When you get these skills, you have to add some skills. When you get this promotion, you have to work hard to get this promotion. So uh, something else. Uh, you know, I'm passionate about you know, you know, doing and achieving the best. That helps me always in life to to be the best and achieve the best. So thank you very much, and I really appreciate your time with me. God bless you.